Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this bonus video, we're going to take a look at the jumps from a recent competition at Lee Valley in England, which featured the majority of the country's top triple jumpers. The event was put on by England Athletics in an attempt to boost the performances of some of the guys, and it certainly turned out to be a great development. Some of the jumpers who would eventually produce good, very good jumps started off shakily. Here's Nathan, Douglas and then Ben Williams. Ben has had a couple of years out due to injury and it was great to see him coming back to the type of form that saw him achieve a personal best of 16 metres 74 a few years back. In the second round Ben managed to maintain more balance and went out to a longer distance of 16 metres 53. First rounds can often be a little bit shaky and there were a number of no jumps and run throughs. The latter here from Nathan Fox. Here's Michael Papamplu who'd recently jumped 16 meters 44 out in France and he was going to build on this sub 16 meter jump throughout the competition. Here's the athlete I coached Jonathan and he didn't quite get into this particular competition. And if you look back at the arm actions of Ben and Nathan, for example, and compare those to Jonathan, you'll see a bigger difference. You can see that the arms don't really get behind the hips in order to give extra propulsion and stability throughout the phases. We're now into round three, and here's Michael Poplamplu's third jump, which went over 16 metres. This is Kimi Ishmael from Malaysia who ended up with 16 metres 13. Here's Julian Reed, whose best is close to 17 metres with 16 metres 98 and he also goes over 16 metres in round 3. When you're just coming back from injury and pushing it in a high level competition, sometimes things don't quite go to plan and Ben Williams again suffered from forward rotation. And here's Jonathan's attempt and I don't think he was being purposeful enough on the run-up and this was therefore reflecting in less than 100% active contacts throughout the phases. He's drifting a little bit into the board, not getting tight onto the board and with the arms not quite in the right place in the step and the jump, he's not getting the momentum needed to carry him further forwards. Nevertheless, he did manage 15 metres 92. Here's Nathan Fox and he's followed by Michael Papamplu. Both are coached by Tosin Oki and you'll see Tosin give some instruction to Michael subsequent to his jump. After some encouraging efforts from Nathan Douglas, albeit off balance, he began to get more into his groove and this was his longest jump of the day, 16 metres and 88. The jump, his best for a number of years, took him to the top of the British rankings and also gained him a place in the following week's London Diamond League meeting. Here's another replay of the 16m88 jump so that young athletes watching can study Nathan's form in more detail. The 16m88 jump from Nathan spurred some of the other jumpers on into action and Julian Reed fouled but it was a long jump. Williams then followed up with 16m53. Michael Poplamplu then went out to 16 metres 33, which was to be his best jump of the afternoon. Right, 
Nathan was now getting back into the groove and he followed up in 1688 with a long foul. Julian Reed then jumped 16 metres 29 for a consistent series. Probably Ben's longest jump of the day, but unfortunately it was a foul. Come on, Mike. Come on. Come on. Let's now just take a look at the remaining jumps of the competition in round five and in round six. This was Julian Reed's longest jump of the day. Ben had been suffering from cramp throughout the day and despite this aborted first attempt, he then produced his best jump of the day, albeit wind assisted. Benefiting from much more balance, the phases were more evenly distributed and the distance was achieved. All in all, it was a great initiative for England Athletics to put on this invitation triple jump and for the guys to be able to compete against each other and achieve and season best performances. Look out for more initiatives like this in the future. As usual, thanks for watching and good luck with your training and competitions and do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media.